And we're calling it a panel because that's what they do here. It's, it's been truly a conversation between okay. yourself and Michael and Carter Covington is the creator of Baking It. And it came about because um, I work for GLAD and at GLAD we helped, um, in, we helped with the rollout of Baking It because we were really happy and really proud of the show and thought people needed to see it. And in our conversations with, um, with the cast and with um, the creators, we thought, um, you know, this is a conversation that we could expand on. And so we wanted to talk about how 20 years ago, the issues that we were dealing with on television as far as LGBT teens are very different than what we're dealing with today. And so since I'm the grandfather of all of the LGBT teens on television, and he's the new baby, the new baby, baby, baby um, we thought it, was a, it would be a great opportunity to have a conversation about that, but also to talk to Carter about how he's writing and how he's developing this character and the other two characters on the show. So, um, that's how it came about. I think in our show specifically, um, it's interesting that uh, my character is not the lead. Uh, he kind of runs the school. Um, if, I don't even think he would deal with bullying. Like, mm -hmm. he just kind of like shrug it off and like just like not have it. Um, yeah. And so, I mean, that's kind of what, I think there's more stories to tell than, than that. And hopefully we've, we've evolved um, from be, having these tragic storylines as a way to create sympathy. Because um, I think there's more than that. There's, yeah. I do think that, you know, yeah, they created sympathy, those storylines back in the 20, 20 years ago. I was going to say in the 20s. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that old. Okay. Um, uh, but they were also a part of a necessary conversation and dialogue that we needed to have with, yeah. with the American public because at the time there was very little conversation about LGBT teens. If anything, there was there was a, a reluctance on the network part to actually have those conversations because there was such resistance coming from the religious right. So mm -hmm. now we can actually have a different conversation because people are more educated because of those storylines that took place. And now and now I think television shows and networks are free to tell a complete story of the LGBT team. And I think that's what they're doing on Faking It. I think they do that on Glee. Um, I think they do that on a number of shows. So, you know, I think we have to go through that moment yeah. um, to get to where we are. Where we are now. And, now, and part of what we want to talk about tomorrow is also where we want to go. Where yeah. We, what's next? Like, where do we want these characters to go? Um, you have a new series coming out. I do. Um, Red Band Society. It's not my series. I got well, recording on that. You're, you're, I will claim it eventually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I, I overheard you mention that there will be some LGB, LGBT oh, yeah, storylines on it. A number of LGBT storylines that I'm, yeah, I'm not willing to talk about. Just know that I'm playing an LGBT character. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they're sharing a teenage lesbian story that takes place right away in the pilot, actually. And it was 